Thank you. Yeah, we know at least one person escorted out of that convention center. Protesters on both sides, though, swarming the area and police doing their best to keep them apart. But that is not stopping them from starting a war of words. And 10 News reporter Astrid Solorzano is live in the thick of this anti-Trump movement. Astrid, how's it look out there? That's right. I'm I'm very much inside now. People say that there's been tension spewing since Trump announced that he was running, but as of right now, probably two minutes ago, all of the anti-Trump protesters ran towards that crosswalk over there. Currently, there is a line of possibly maybe 20 to 30 sheriff deputies who are going to go to try to take control of what's going on. It seems to be that there was something involving one of the people who run the trolley and then I've seen so far two people taken into custody. There's something definitely going on over there. But if things are now getting a little bit bad, things before a couple of hours ago, there was a lot of tension, a lot of anger from anti-Trump protesters. Bethany Unwin, who was very upset, she was right there. She said that she was walking to work, but then saw all of the anger and hate that was being spread. She says she's embarrassed people are using Trump as an excuse to divide people. Now, there were several groups that are anti-Trump protesters that were supposed to stay in their collected area to try to keep the peace. But just like I said two minutes ago, all of this definitely changed. Now, if you take a look, there are all of the sheriff deputies who are trying to circle the group, trying to contain what happened. So far, the information that I do have is that it was involving someone who controlled the trolley. I think there was a lot of tension. I just recently saw two people taken into custody. I asked one of the gentlemen, he seemed to be between his 18 and 20 years old. He said an adult just came and hit him in the face and it seems to be that he was taken into custody. Now, hopefully sheriff deputies along with police and other law enforcement try to contain this area. We will keep you updated as much as we can on the situation going on right here. Reporting live downtown Astrid Solorzano, 10 News. Yeah, and we can actually see people in your shot, Astrid, holding up their phones, taking pictures of whatever that skirmish or disturbance is. So we'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, we see the protests. We see police on the other side of me. Protesters out in force, police out in force, but so are Trump supporters. Let's go live right now to 10 News anchor Atika Milanes. She's watching a huge turnout on that side of Harbor Drive. Atika. Yes, we're on the other side of where Astrid was just a second ago. All the sheriff's deputies that you saw, they're now in formation. They are preparing to do something right now. In the last 10 minutes, all of a sudden, violence erupted here at the Trump rally. These people have been here for hours, some of them all day. But all of a sudden, just 10 minutes ago, we saw several fights. I personally saw two people get arrested and uh, saw a couple of bloody noses out here as well. If you can look on this side right here, this is the anti-Trump side. This is the pro people here. More activity. People are a lot more vocal on the anti-Trump side. We're hearing that they came from L.A., Orange County, even Mexico. They've been chanting all day, waving that Mexican flag. A lot of signs with vulgarities on them, stuff we can't show you here. These officers are MMF. They have been trained specifically for this kind of thing. They are prepared for anything that comes their way. They have the pepper spray. They've got their uh, face gear here. They've got batons. And take a look. They are ready to arrest anyone if they come their way. We're going to send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Itiko. We've seen other examples, of course, in other cities of police having to use the pepper spray. Have they had to use any of weapons at all on them? Have you seen that at all? As far as I know, we have not seen anything yet. Uh, we haven't seen anybody, any officer, having to use any kind of force except to handcuff and arrest some people. Uh, our station, Channel 10, gave us this protective gear in case we were stuck in the middle of anything. But so far, nothing has happened. If you look over here, we are hearing something happening right over there. Can't quite see it, but officers are heading that way. Let me see if I can get a better look. Yeah, and this is the same For some area. reason, the crowds are heading that way and the officers are too, right behind them. And Kira, I take it, you said that you saw some fights happen yourself. I'm curious, were they, was this 
supporters versus protesters or just protesters versus police? Could you even tell? You know, okay, sorry, folks. I down because they were on the other side where we are. The they were in the anti-Trump side, so it's hard to tell if there were some people on that side that just got into it, or if they they were anti-Trump just getting into it with one another. Hard to tell from this vantage point. All right, Itika, thank you very much. We're having a little bit of trouble hearing you, but we do do understand that we want to move right on to Emily Fode, and uh, she is live for us. Uh, she was watching protesters who marched from Chicano Park to the convention center. Emily? Yeah, so we're right here. Uh, this is another angle of what's going on. So the majority of people where I'm standing appear to be Trump supporters. Uh, they're out there yelling, USA, USA, USA. We had a bunch of Trump supporters that have left the Trump rally, and they came around to this side and clashed with the anti-Trump protesters. So we do have some uh, police officers going in there trying to straighten things out. It's hard to tell what's going on. We have seen several skirmishes break out. We did see uh, some of the protesters ripping apart uh, Donald Trump pinata, trying to throw that at police, uh, throwing some water bottles as well. So it seems like right now they're just yelling. It, it is getting heated, though. It's, there's a lot of tension out here. Jeff, I'm going to have you pan over here to the right. Um, you can see we have San Diego police officers out here in the right gear. They're starting to inch closer and closer. So we're standing right here on 5th, and we are right at the heart, right at the beginning of the gas lamp quarter. So that's the scene out here right now. It is uh, not ending anytime soon. It does not appear to be that way. I'm live in the gas lamp. Emily Tho, 10 News, back to you. Emily.